Cross. It's Blue Jay basketball. Ryan Kalkbrenner. Ryan Kalkbrenner. Timeout, Holy Cross. Ryan Kalkbrenner. Already seven to shoot. Nemard's gonna take a deep three and buries it. From the beak. Mitchell again, off the bounce. Mitchell finds Kalkbrenner again. 12 of the 12. That is Mike Miller, who's had a great career in the NBA. Tremendous shooter. Farabello off a good look from Sharif Mitchell. Kaluma. King's looking for it in the post. Instead, another great shot fake from Shireman. Alexander gives it up. Kaluma fires the three as Creighton shares the rock. Kaluma has a tough rebound. Nemoy lobs ahead. King running the floor and finishing. He takes a tumble, but he got the finish anyway. Yeah. Sprinter back in the game, so good minutes from King. Nemoy finds caught Brenner at the rim. That is now. 16 straight field goals hits three. Shireman pulls it in the hands of the point guard Nemar. Shireman looking for Kalkbrenner again, bumped inside. Whip it around, step in three. Shireman buries it as the Blue Jays fly around. Kalkbrenner has the rebound. Nemar. Oh, and Kaluma finishes it off. The alley oop for Green. Back to back dunks gives Green a 20 point lead. Unbelievable, up, up and away. Want to run, the Blue Jays are want to run. Oh my goodness. Tack the basket, still whirl. Farabella looking for the back cut, Kalkbrenner steps outside and hits the triple. Everything's going for Creighton tonight. The Blue Jays bring it right back. Mitchell into the corner. Farabella hits the three. Francisco Farabella. Shireman on the wing. Skip pass to the corner. Alexander in the corner. First made three of the second half for Creighton. That's it. Shireman, the impact player, transfer Summit League Player of the Year. Nimhard, another miss three, follows his miss and gets the two. Shireman led the Summit League, and they're all going to be tilted towards Creighton. Gates taken away by Kalkbrenner. Kaluma lines up for the three, buries it in transition. He improved his three point shooting also, thought he was double figure scorer last season. Just wants to pass the ball, he's got so many weapons around him. End of the post. One, Claude Brenner again. He's now a perfect two-three zone by Holy Cross, which I think is good. Can't go out the big guy inside. Get a little bit of help now with the zone. Man and a half. He still can score in there. Oh, Nemard with a great. And how about the handsome Claude Brenner? Baseline inbounds. Sharif Mitchell running point. Alexander off the bounce. Alexander in the paint off the window with a tough finish. Make it. No question, Carter. He's 
new to the game of basketball from the Bahamas. We've been playing about four years, so he's wonderful future. Mitchell, here's King on the run out. King! Where's the crown? <laughs> body during the summer, lost some weight, got stronger, lost some body fat. 13 points in the game for Jarrell Gates. Stoltzberg hits. 6'10 freshman from the Bahamas. Stoltzberg. And one. Count the long two from Stoltzberg. And a free throw coming. The freshman from Northridge, California. Excellent player. Have to fight for playing time card for all these talent around him. Yeah, Greg McDermott believes in him. Yep. I saw him today. We talked to Coach McDermott, you and I, right? He said, yeah, he's going to be good. Second unit for Creighton now. Yep. Miller. Stoltzberg down the baseline. Gives it back. Miller with five to shoot. Stoltzberg can't get the follow. Stoltzberg finally in tight. Legend. Recruiting circles, evaluate talent. Uh, went to Fordham University, so Roy Cross is going to play there against Stonehill and Fordham. Mason Miller. Mason Miller had the bucket, the last trip down for Creighton. Creighton's got UC Riverside coming in here. Where they go to Maui? Marabella. They compete. Once again, not going to see a team like this the rest of the season. He's a good competition, but not top 10 competition. So it's going to be a solid team in the Patriot League. How about this guy? It's your guy, Stoltzberg. Wow. Here, he's had more wins this year. Nine wins this year. They could be a little better. Climbing a ladder. Shot fake by Yates. Von Stoltzberg. Another made three for Stoltzberg. That's two, three. Young brings it back for Creighton. Osmani turns the corner. Off the shot fake. Osmani has the bucket. 94 on the board with the starters largely on the bench in the second half for the Creighton Blue Jays. Creighton is 3-0 again under Greg McDermott. A 94-65 win over Holy Cross. 28 assists against just nine turnovers, the final numbers for the Creighton Blue Jays. Tremendous effort by the Blue Jays. Very unselfish. They have so many weapons. Great depth, great talent, outstanding coaches, and outstanding talent. We'll visit with the victorious Blue Jays when we come back to Omaha. Great, congratulations, a big win. How about your assists? 28 assists, really unselfish. That's got to make you feel good. Yeah, thanks, Coach. It's, you know, it's one of the things that makes this team so enjoyable to coach. They're, they're willing passers, and they, I think they're gaining an understanding that if you if you trust ball movement, trust the offense, the ball has a way of finding you. And obviously, you know, Nemhard didn't score a lot tonight, but I thought he controlled the game. He was unbelievable. Great penetrator, soft touch. How about Ryan Cochran, right? As a freshman, he's a good, solid player, didn't start, right? Last year, quantum leap, right? Big East Defensive Player of the Year. Now, first team preseason, 10 for 10. How would he develop so quickly, so well? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the minutes off the bench were valuable for him as a freshman. He played 12, 13 minutes a game, so he got acclimated into what this is all about. And I think that really motivated him to work. And he also had a, an opportunity to make the USA Basketball U-20 team in the summertime. And that motivated him to really get in shape. And I think he got in condition, and he, and he fell in love with that process. And, uh, you know, you saw how he keeps the ball high tonight. You know, he's just made so much progress. He's extremely coachable, and again, he's uh, – he does a lot of the dirty work down there. No question. How about Mitchell coming off the bench as a point guard? You got to love him as a coach defensively. He's super aggressive, puts good pressure on the other team's point guard. Yeah, I think he can wear into some point guards, and the combination of him and Nemhard is really good. And I think anytime you can bring a you know a fourth-year player like Mitchell and Farabello off the bench, it's a it's a heck of a luxury I have over there. Unbelievable. Uh, embarrassment of riches. Now you get Frederick King during the summer. Shine Brennan. I mean, it waves. He lost two good players, right? Ryan Hawkins, a terrific player. He's gone. And O'Connell, the transfer from Duke, two of your top three. But you're still doing great. Yeah, you know these guys have come in and really worked. I really like our freshman class. Mason Miller is a redshirt freshman. He's in that group as well. But I think you you saw a little bit what Ben Schultzberg can do tonight. 
Uh, obviously, Frederick King, King's got a bright future, um, but uh, he's just got to make a few free throws. <laughs> yeah, he does. Your team's like the Atlantic Ocean. You come at you in waves and waves, Greg. So congratulations. Good luck the next game against UC Riverside. And good luck in Maui coming up. I appreciate it, Coach. Thank you. Back to you, Carter.